Hey, I'm Easy B. This is Easy B Tactical. Thanks for watching. This is a quick video on something I'm trying to review. It's a magnetic buffer, buffer system by Michelin, Jerry Michelin. I think he's a fantastic shooter. I'm sure many of you know him. I've seen his videos on YouTube. I'm not sponsored for this video, and I, I, you know, I just wanna. I, I never really tried different buffer system on my ARs platform versus the traditional buffer weights, you know. But I figured I was gonna try this magnetic one and see how it works. So I got this from uh, Big Daddy Unlimited, which they don't sponsor me because my channel is tiny. But if they watch this and they wanna help grow a small fry, I'm one, I'm volunteering. I raise my hand. Like buffer magnetic buffer system which is supposed to, rec to reduce the felt recoil it's a magnetic buffer tube basically uh, buffer weight so I brought a couple of ARs today and right now they are unloaded no magazine no rounds in the magazine this is my legally registered short barrel rifle that I've used for a while and then I brought my other, one of my other air, which is a BCM build, Bruce build, about a 13 inch, I think, barrel. So I'm gonna try it on those two, far, two, far, two rifles. Uh, I won't be shooting a lot of rounds. I just got the product not too long ago. Well, I had it sitting for a few weeks, but I just decided to do this video today. So maybe too soon, perhaps, but I'm gonna do this now, and maybe after I do a few classes or shoot this a lot more, we will do a second video to see what happened and what, what I really felt like. So I wish I had a way to measure recall on my body, but I don't, so I'm gonna go by feel. It's not a really scientific <laughs> experiment today, so I'm gonna shoot five rounds with the rifle as it is, then I'm gonna switch and put the buffer system each rifle at a time. Let's see what happens. Let's start with the short bear rifle. Base, uh, traditional, uh, typical build. I have not put the magnetic buffer yet. Uh, so I'm gonna shoot five rounds. Always practice good gun safety, eye protection, ear protection. There's no one else in the range besides me. Uh, I'm gonna shoot at the target, close. So it's, this is just for the recall test. So. We are less than 25 yards on each target. So first of all, it's an AR-15. It's my build. I've shot a lot with this rifle, so I feel comfortable with it. I didn't feel too much recoil, although this is a short barrel rifle. So I'm a bit biased though as it is, so let's see what happens after I put the buffer system. There's one more round in there. Safe. I'm going to swap the buffer system. Let me put all oh, stuff on the ground first. And uh, I the instructions are simple. They said push the rear pin, open it up, remove your current buffer, wait. If I can press down, there you go, this one, put the new one, and then I put that in there, like the typical, I don't know if you can see, but Maybe we we'll do a close up at the bench some other time. I just push that in there. I'm very fortunate to be able to shoot here at Boyer Shooting Center in Katy, Texas. Thanks to the people at Boyer. 
and the management for letting me use their facility so that I can give a feedback right after I fired the rifle. I didn't feel, I felt difference. I don't know if it's because I was so focused on doing all the right forms, but I really, I actually felt a little less than when I used my standard buffer tube. So, uh, but I, I don't know. I don't know yet. It's very too soon. Uh, so let's put on the longer rifle and see what happens with the standard buffer system, <coughs> buffer tube that I have. Uh, and I did forget to mention the ammunition I'm using is just regular 5.56, 5, 5, 5, 55 grain, narrow. Uh, so no different, just same grain weight on no both, uh, both magazines. switch the buffer system and put the Michelec buffer chip in there and then we'll see what happens. Try to have the same stand, same position, and I shot, I guess, more than five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six shots to this blue target with the standard buffer system, too. So, ideally, right, I, sh I should have like prone position, all the condition being the same, stabilized, and everything. But I think I can feel the fact that although I'm used, my body is used to the recoil difference. The firearms is a little bit more stable, I think, when I shoot with the buffer, the magnetic system, because this is the standard one. I do if I reacted, if I reacted, I didn't take too much time, but I went on two, three, one, two, three. So I was aiming towards the top of the number two. Of course, seeing two in the blue background versus a yellow background, it's a little bit harder. However, again, this was. With the magnetic system, I had one, two, three, four, I guess two went into the same hole, I think, there. And this one, although they're kind of close together, or it's definitely not close together here, I had, it wasn't, I, it wasn't exactly into the same hole. So, again, it's not a full-blown scientific test. So, in conclusion, I do think that there's a little bit of less recoil with the buffer Michelin magnetic buffer system. I think it depends on what your level of experience as well. Should you run up and buy one? I think this was $100 when I bought it, $99. Should you go ahead and get one right away? I don't think so. Now, if you're an experienced shooter, a competitive shooter, and you're trying to make to get all the edge that you can for your competition, perhaps this could be part of your system. But Again, I think I will, since I filmed this video, I shot a, a class with the recall, the magnetic buffer system, and I did see a difference on my grouping and my accuracy, perhaps, which which is due to the fact that I may, be, I may have been able to better manage the rifle. So, I'm not really sure yet. Um, there is a difference. Is it great? Do you feel it? Do you feel an overwhelming difference from the a stock buffer weight to this I don't think so not for me anyway so but uh, I just wanted to kind of share my first impressions again this is not a no, I didn't put a thousand rounds underneath this 
device maybe more to come I just want to share this initial thoughts and see what this will do is my first time messing with uh, a buffer tube or lightweight buffer tube or anything like that so you will make your own decision eventually but this is the Mitchell magnetic buffer system hope you enjoyed the video share the video post the link if you've been using one of these please definitely post a comment and see if something if they work for you I know there are other options out there but this is the first one I bought for myself okay appreciate again thanks for watching and talk to you soon Peace out.